What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out some Fantastic Four comic books, which I'm really, really excited for. These ones here are ones that I already have sold. There is a total of 110. I'm going to be breaking this up into at least two videos, but I might have to break it up into even more if I find the video is really long. There's a lot of great ones in here, and I did keep some for myself, and I'll share those in a future video, but let's just get straight into this. Up first, we have Fantastic Four 248, which just looks awesome. All the characters on the front here, not sure who the big eye is here or what that is, but that is really cool. Next up, and again, these are not in any particular order because it can be mixed up, especially whenever I'm picking them out to sell to somebody. Usually it's hard to keep them in order, uh, but this is issue 260. Looks really cool. I don't like the design of the Human Torch whenever he's not the Torch. That just looks a little odd. I get it. He's the brother of the Invisible Girl, but I don't know. It just looks odd. He should look a little bit different, not resemble her so much. Next up, we have 263. Thing here, yelling for Johnny. I'm not quite sure what's happening there, but that is still a really cool cover. Next up, we have 268, which I'm actually surprised this is not one that I picked out for myself because it looks like the helmets of Doom and the eyes are glowing purple, which just looks really awesome. So I'm not sure about this one here, but that does look really, really cool. Next up, another one. I'm, again, I'm surprised some of these that I'm not picking out for myself, but this is 270. Look at that. I love whenever the title gets disturbed in some way with the characters that are on the cover. I think that's really cool, and that is an awesome cover. Next up is 271. I'm not sure what this creature is, but it is literally destroying the city there. That's really awesome. The next one here, 275. That is really cool. You have Stan Lee on the cover, which is awesome. I should have kept this one for myself yet again. And we do have She-Hulk in the back. So that's still really cool. Uh, two, sorry, 286. Uh, we have Phoenix on the cover, along with some of the other Fantastic Four characters, She-Hulk. So that one definitely would be really cool in there. Next up, 288, Doctor Doom versus the Beyonder. So it kind of looks like... I haven't read this comic, but it kind of looks like Doctor Doom and the Fantastic Four are teaming up against this person here. That'd be really, really cool the first time uh, for me seeing that, but that's very interesting. 289, it looks like the uh, Fantastic Four and She-Hulk is pretty much defeated here, but uh, Human Torch is the only one left standing, so that's a very interesting cover. Next up, 290. Not quite sure who this is here. Comments who that is down below, but that is a really cool cover. I like a lot of these. Fantastic Four is one of the ones that I usually am gravitated towards, but these ones here, I did need to sell them and I couldn't keep them all for myself because I did buy the lots to flip. 298, sorry. I really messed that one up. 292. This is the one with Hitler on the cover. Now, I do have this one in my personal collection, including the one that's after that where they're actually trying to kill Hitler, or I believe it might be the one before. I also have where uh, they're going back in time for the first time uh, to find Hitler. I'm not quite sure, but that is still a cool cover. Next up, we have 293 Blackouts. Have yet to read that one. That's a cool cover there. Next up, 297. Uh, I can't believe they got a uh, astronaut suit to fit the thing that is incredible or why he'd even need that but uh, that's really cool 298 not quite sure who this is comment it down below we have 299 with She-Hulk smashing the thing through a brick wall but we also have Spider-Man here which is really cool that's one I should have probably kept for myself we do have issue 300, this here. There is a wedding, uh, but it looks like this person here is controlling a toy thing. So I'm not sure if uh, Thing does look angry in the wedding here. So I don't know if he's going to possibly destroy the wedding. That'd be a cool outcome. We have 301, where it looks like the Thing got taken out or he's knocked out somehow and they're kidnapping his son, so, uh, or nephew or whatever. Uh, 302, that's really cool. 303. 
Looks like he's getting beat up there. 304. Most of these are in order now. I uh, might be skipping a few in, in a few minutes, but uh, just like this one here, 306. I'm not sure who that is in the center. Comment down below, but that is a really cool comic. 307. I thought it was a thick one, but the uh, one after it was kind of sticking to it. So that was what was going on there. 308. We have 311, which I'm surprised I didn't keep for myself because it does have the Black Panther in it. And I don't find too many comics that have the Black Panther in them. And I do like crossovers. Uh, so I'm surprised I didn't keep that. So this one here is 312. That it has, again, it looks like the X-Men, uh, Doctor Doom, and Fantastic Four are teaming up against these alien invaders. So that would be a really cool one to keep. 311. Bunch of fighting on the front here. That's really cool. 314. That's awesome. 315. I am not sure what is happening here. It kind of looks like somebody took the Human Torch, which is odd. Must be flame proof. Uh, 316. I'm not sure what's going on here. It kind of looks like the Human Torch is going into the uh, center core of the Earth, maybe. That'd be very, very interesting. Uh, I'm kind of debating on whether or not I should end the video here or keep going, but you know what? Screw it, let's just keep going here because I do have enough for another video already. So that's about half of this video. We have 317, which I'm not sure what is going on here. It kind of looks like the thing and the uh, abomination are about to kiss. I'm not sure if that is accurate or not. Uh, 318, we have Doctor Doom. It kind of looks like Doctor Doom, or sorry, it kind of looks like Thing uh, and Human Torch are teaming with Doctor Doom in that one. We have 321, uh, Miss Marvel versus the She-Hulk. That's really weird. Okay. Uh, this one here, 322. We have, hmm, kind of looks like uh, Doctor Strange, but I don't think it is there. He's back, Kang, 323. Another fight scene. 324. That's really cool. Um, Mantis must die. So Mantis is in this one. That one I should have kept for myself since I love Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, 327. That looks like a miniature uh, Galactus. I don't know. I thought that was really funny there seeing that. Uh, 328. Not quite sure what is happening in these ones. It's something that I probably should have read, but it is really cool. Uh, this one here has the Mole Man in it, 329, which just honestly looks like a cool comic. I absolutely love Fantastic Four, and I'm kind of shocked that I didn't keep these or keep more of these for my personal collection. 330, we have what looks like Doctor Doom with a lot of electricity, which is really cool. That's an amazing cover. Damn. Should have kept some of these. We have 331, which, I mean, i never seen him stretching on the cover before uh, in any of these ones yet, so that would have been nice to keep. 322, it looks like Invisigirl is in danger, uh, and it looks like she can't turn invisible for some reason, or she would have by then. Uh, we have 333. <sighs> Fantastic Four versus Fantastic Four. That is one that I would have loved to have in my collection. Just the cover artwork looks amazing. It looks phenomenal. Bet you anything the story is amazing. Damn. Uh, we have 334. Can't really tell what is going on here. This is Acts of Vengeance. Uh, we have 335, which is just a thicker uh, backing board on it for some reason. 336. Kind of looks like some people got defeated here, but it's hard to tell who. Uh, Human Torch is laying across there. He looks extra long for some reason. Lengthy. Uh, we have 337. Rose. Bud 2. I'm not sure if this is a tank. It kind of looks like a tank, but it's hard to tell. 338. 
Not quite sure what's going on there, but that is awesome. This one's cool. I absolutely love this. The Gladiator versus Thor 339. I love crossovers. I keep saying that, but I do. Uh, 340. Kind of looks like they changed up their uh, costumes a little bit, at least for the thing. Uh, 341. Really cool. 342. My favorite uh, Fantastic Four has to be the thing. That's why I have his Funko uh, standing out. And then I have his Venomized Funko as well. That is the metallic version, which was awesome to get. 343, all of them with uh, some big ass weapons, which is really cool. Love to read that story. Uh, we have 344, which appears to be like a Chinese flag in the background there. That's really cool. Coming near the end here. 345, we have a Triceratops. I love Jurassic Park, I love dinosaurs, so I'm surprised I didn't keep that one for myself. Prehistoric times, that would have been sick. We have issue 350, a giant sized issue, which normally I keep those right there. And we do have two, sorry, 351, which I'm not sure who these ones are in the backgrounds there. So that's really cool. In total, this was about 55 comics. I'm probably wrong, but in total there was 110 uh, Fantastic Four comics and I did sell them for $250. They did e-transfer me the money already. I am meeting with them tomorrow, so it is officially sold and that is a nice sale for me. But these comics here, amazing condition. All the comics that I have right now are either uh, all bagged and boarded, which they are, but all of them are in like pristine, perfect condition, which is awesome, not only as a collector, but as a reseller as well. So hope you guys liked this video. I will be sharing more Fantastic Four in the future and also some What If comics as well, if I didn't already upload those. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.